Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm so sorry I've been so absent lately. For those of you that don't know or haven't watched my last video, I am pregnant and I'm super excited. I'm so happy. The only downfall that comes with pregnancy, however, is morning sickness and that has definitely hit me hard these past few weeks and that is why I've been absent. But I really wanted to get a video up and I was thinking to myself, what kind of video should I upload? Um because it's just been really hard to pick up the camera lately and then I was like well why don't I just be real with them and just take them along with me on the days that I'm really sick day in the life of a parent with morning sickness so that is what I'm gonna do today I'm gonna try to spare you guys like the gross parts of morning sickness but I do want to keep it as raw as possible also so if you guys aren't interested in something like this and watching somebody um, with morning sickness and, you know, all the pregnancy sy symptoms, then I wouldn't watch this video. But if you guys are interested and you want to see how somebody else, if you are pregnant and you want to see how somebody else copes with morning sickness and pregnancy symptoms and everything like that, then I would keep watching. <laughs> those days um I woke up really sick and I really have been like these past few weeks um and I'm gonna be honest with you guys it's really hard I, my pregnancy with Wilder was just like this like I was super sick all the time I couldn't get out of bed like I couldn't eat anything everything that I did eat I would throw up and that's basically how it is right now um, I try to eat something as often as possible because I feel like that makes me feel a little better. But the only thing with that is it's really hard for me to get an appetite for anything. So it's hard for me to continuously eat, if that makes sense. But yeah, my pregnancy with Wilder was really awful. And um, I'm just it lasted like the whole pregnancy. So I'm just really hoping that at least it subsides a little bit after the first trimester. Garrick has just been so good to me these past few weeks with me having morning sickness. Morning sickness, which is like every day, all day sickness for me and for a lot of people, I'm sure. But he's just been so good. He's been, you know, giving Wilder his nighttime feedings because when I wake up at night and you know how you wake up like super fast at night, it just makes me so nauseous. And normally, like, I'll have to throw up before I even make his bottle. And it's just, like, a big mess. So, he's been helping me out a lot in that department, which I'm super grateful for. I'm nauseous 24-7. I'm not throwing up 24-7. Um, but I definitely am nauseous 24-7. Like, it does not go away. And I actually have a friend that is, is pregnant right now also and not too far from me. And she's having the same symptoms. And, like she has two boys so she's like a super mom and I just text her all the time because I'm like at least I'm not alone you know and I'm sure so many of you guys are watching this and thinking to yourself that too like it just feels nice to know like you're not the only one with your head in the toilet it's just it's hard it really is but I know that it's gonna be so worth it and I just can't wait for Wilder to have a little baby brother or sister and I can't wait to meet him or her and I'm just super pumped but and that that's just what I have to think about like whenever I'm sick or throwing up or whatever the case may be not feeling good I just have to keep thinking like this is all worth it and I remember with Wilder like the sickness never went away and I just kept thinking to myself like it's gonna, it's gonna be so worth it and it really was like whenever I had him all of that sickness and all of the misery that came with pregnancy really just washed away and I don't even remember most of it and but now I'm definitely remembering it but yeah today I actually um this is one of my better days which is why I decided to pick up the camera I still am feeling pretty bad but um it definitely is one of my better days um which is why I actually threw on some makeup like I honestly guys like I didn't even know where my freaking makeup bag was like, I really didn't, and I had to search for it. I was like, oh my gosh, like, I look like a bus just ran over me. I need to put some makeup on or I'm going to scare these people. <laughs> I've never been that type to, like, hand off the baby, you know, like, as soon as your significant other comes home. 
but these past few weeks like as soon as he comes home like I'm so grateful for him because he just takes Wilder from me he's like I got it I'm like thank you god not that like Wilder is a bad baby don't get me wrong it's just it makes me feel so bad whenever I I have my head in the toilet and he's just you know watching a learning video or like continuously just like playing alone but I just feel bad like sticking him in front of like the tv if you know what I mean like I just feel so bad but you gotta do what you gotta do and that's just what I do because I can't stand to hear him whenever I leave like he normally cries like he's a very clingy baby and I love him and I love that he's so attached to me because I'm so attached to him and it's just the same kind of love like whenever I'm away from him like I need him so I get the feeling that he has like I really do but it's just super hard whenever you're sick so a few of the symptoms that I'm having I'm super freaking bloated like I look like I'm six months pregnant of course the nauseousness the throwing up all the time and normally it's about three to five times a day um the throwing up isn't really like what's as bad as like feeling nauseous 24 7 i'd rather throw up 10 times like i was talking to my friend about this i would rather throw up 10 times than feel nauseous 24 7 and she was like yeah i'm me too like i feel the same way it's just so awful and i feel like i'm not giving wilder the attention that i always have been and it just sucks and i can't wait for this to go away but he's just sleeping right here My body is going through it. I call Garrick like several times. Like the other day, I swear I almost fainted. And like the only thing that I could think about is like, oh my gosh, like what if I faint right now? Like what is Wilder going to do? Like Garrick won't know. Like nobody will know. So I like immediately texted Garrick and I was like, Garrick, I think I'm going to faint. Like if I don't answer, like please call somebody. Because I was like throwing up constantly and seeing stars in my eyes and like I just felt so queasy like I was just going to faint. And it was just so scary. It always happens to me and I don't know why I guess because I so like viciously throw up like DMI sorry but that's what happens and it's awful. If any of you guys have any tips on morning sickness please let me know and please don't push me to take medication because I'm just not one of those people like I took it a few times with Wilder and I just felt so bad like I had such a guilty conscience and I just I'm not a medicine type of girl so I'm not going to resort to that unless you know it's endangering me or the baby and I don't feel like that's where I'm at at this point I feel like this is pretty normal um, I mean, it sucks, but it's pretty normal, and I'm just not going to take any medicine for that right now. But if you guys do have any natural, you know, remedies or whatever, please let me know. I almost just woke Wilder up. Comment below, you guys, what your favorite meals and snacks are, please, <laughs> because everything that I think of, I just... I can't do it. I can't. Like, I'll think of something and I, it's just, it'll make me want to throw up. So if you guys have any recommendations on a good meal or your favorite snack, please let me know. I think I'm going to try to get something done. I haven't really and it's really stressing me out because there's so much laundry that needs to be done. Like, it's literally piled to the ceiling. I have so many dishes that I need to put away and... I just need to clean up and like I'm normally so on top of that like I'm normally so OCD and like need my house clean but like I said these past few weeks I can't even pick up the freaking camera so it's hard to you know get motivated and do stuff without wanting to vomit <laughs> so now that I'm feeling like okay right now I'm still really nauseous but I'm gonna try to get up and like get some things going I really need to put some dishes away and I think I'm going to prep something for him to eat whenever he wakes up for lunch and hopefully I don't throw up. Hopefully. I'm breaking out so bad. Like, I think Garrick said this happened last time. Um, I would always complain about like my acne being so bad but like it is so bad right now. I'm, like you can't see because I had to put makeup on because like I said I looked like a freaking bus ran over me. But, like, 
<laughs> you see her? Like, that's rude. Look at him over there. Like, what? Okay, so right now I am just preparing a little snack for Wilder, and then I'm going to make something for myself. Because I'm super hungry, but like I said, I just don't have any appetite for anything. So we'll see how that goes, but I'm just going to cook something up for him. Here, you want pepper? Okay, so I think I'm going to steam some broccoli for him. I literally cannot stand the smell of broccoli right now. So Wilder, if you're watching this 20 years from now, boy, you better know that I love you. Because I'm steaming some broccoli and I cannot stand the smell. Like, oh my god. Oh, it makes me want to gag. But he loves it, so... Whatever. So before I just came down here and um, figured that I would make him something to eat and fix myself something, I just threw up and I didn't take you guys along with me. I thought about it, but I didn't because I don't want to make anybody else sick. <laughs> so I just thought that I'd spare you guys of that. I'm feeling a little bit better and I'm now really hungry because I just threw up everything that was in my body. So I'm gonna try to eat something and we'll see how that goes. Huh? We'll see how that goes. And then I'm just cooking him up a little bell pepper, cooking him up. I'm chopping him a bell pepper because he likes bell peppers. And I'm just gonna pop this in the microwave. Let's put something in it, huh? Let's put something in it. What are we gonna put in it? Oh, let's put some unsalted butter in here. Right? Alright, so I'm just going to pop this in the microwave. Okay, what am I going to eat? Wilder Gray? What's your mama going to eat? So, for my lunch, I went ahead and made some freaking Chef Boardy because that's the only thing that I could even like think about stomaching. So hopefully I don't throw this up because that would be gross. Like that's what you have to think about. Like when you're pregnant and you have morning sickness, like, okay, what am I gonna eat that isn't gonna be so bad if I throw up? Went ahead and just steamed some broccoli and I um, toasted some whole wheat toast. He still has his bell pepper, some watermelon. And then I just put like, um, I smeared some pears on top. He loves broccoli right now, but literally like I, I can't, like I cannot smell it. Like smelling it right now, oh my God, I need to stop, okay. And I got some milk and that's another thing, like if you guys have morning sickness, don't drink milk, I don't know why I'm drinking it. I just like have a craving for it right now and I saw it, I was like, I gotta have that. But if you're pregnant and you have morning sickness, girl, milk is not the best to throw up. It's really not, but like I need to have it. Like <laughs> it's so bad, like pregnancy, is so crazy you guys like it is literally it's the weirdest thing in the world but I want you guys to know like throughout this video yeah I'm gonna be complaining like I'm sick I don't feel good but I want you guys to know that I am not at all like I I wouldn't trade it for anything I know that pregnancy comes along with a lot of symptoms and I'm completely okay with that but in the moment like whenever you are sick and you're throwing up and your head's in the toilet and you got a screaming baby and this and that like it does take a toll on your body so that's why I'm making this video to kind of show you guys how I cope with it and I don't even know like I'm out of breath like that's another thing I literally will walk to the toilet to pee and I'm like out of breath but I don't even know where I was going what are you doing dude what are you doing how did this turn into a bong so quickly so Garrick's at work, and I have freaking no idea when he's going to get off today. I'm looking at our laundry right now because, like, our laundry room is right in front of me. And, like, uh, that just makes me sick. There's so much laundry that needs done. Like, I don't even have the energy to look at it. <laughs> I don't have the energy. Oh, my God, I feel so sick right now. He is such a good eater, like, I don't even think twice about it, like, I trust him so much, like, whenever he 
gets a big piece in his mouth that he knows he can't chew. He just spits it out. For those of you that are interested in baby led weaning, I would totally do it because this is the benefits of that. Like I don't have to sit here and try to force him to eat freaking baby food and like try to force it down his mouth or like do the choo-choo train or whatever. Like he eats what he wants to eat at his pace. And especially when we're at restaurants and stuff, like it is so awesome. I have a video actually talking about that. Um, if you click above, you can go ahead and watch that video if you're interested. But baby led weaning is so awesome. It takes a little time and like a little bit of effort and a little bit of sitting on your hands, but it is really great and the benefits are amazing. My friend told me when I'm thinking about throwing up to think of a strawberry cow. And at first I thought like it worked, but now it's just like, that's gone. I literally just want to go and crawl in bed. I need to find a bucket because I'm tired of like, there's been a few times where I haven't made it to the toilet. And, like, I need to get a bucket just in case, especially in the middle of the night. Oh, my God. Literally so bad. And I feel so bad. Like, these are the times that I feel so bad because literally, like, I just have to lay here, like, and not move. Because if I do, like, it's just... I just feel so bad because I'm not I'm not like my best for him you know sometimes I just have to like sit him down and go throw up and then just feel awful for hours and it's just it sucks it really does and this stupid freaking baby bum me finger mommy finger like oh my god that makes me want to gag but sometimes I have to let him, like I, you know, I have to put it on for him because I need to throw up and I just feel even worse if he's sitting there crying for me while I, my head's in the toilet. <laughs> so most of these days have been spent like this, cuddling and it's not the worst. I mean, like I'm sitting here telling you guys like it's a struggle, like, and it is, don't get me wrong, like it is a struggle and Sometimes it's hard and it's hard to feel nauseous and sick all the time and take care of him at the same time and especially if you're like on the verge of throwing up and trying to take care of him. It is hard but a lot of the time like he's a good baby and he is a good cuddler and snuggler and I thank God for that because if he was one of those babies that you know didn't like to be cuddled or just laid next to then I'd be in trouble. I'm so stubborn too like Garrick will ask me all the time if I want his help doing this that and the other thing and like I do but it just makes me even more mad that like my body won't allow me to do the things that I want to do like take care of the house and like just do certain things and it just makes me mad so I like try to overcome that by doing it and it just makes me feel worse so I really need to learn to take the help more often. Wilder is in the stage of like wanting to crawl everywhere and which is so awesome like I love watching him like move around and crawl like I just can't believe it because before he was just like my little peanut and he relied on me for everything and now he's getting more independent and it's like bittersweet, you know? The other day he called Garrick from my phone because like I said, he always takes my phone. And he calls Garrick and I didn't know that he was calling him. Garrick answers the phone and he says, Dad? And then, and then yeah, just like that, Dad? And then um, Garrick said that he was saying like, what, hello, Wilder, Wilder? And he just like kept pressing buttons, kept pressing buttons and didn't say anything after that. I just think it was so funny. I don't know if it was a coincidence or like, he heard his voice and was like, Dada, or Dad. Whenever I was pregnant with him, I didn't have another baby to watch over, so I was constantly, you know, in my thoughts about how awful it was and how how sick I am and, like, thinking about throwing up or whatever the case may be. 
but now it's like my mind is sometimes occupied because I'm having to take care of him or please him or cuddle with him and it makes it a little bit easier in a way. It makes it a little bit easier. Huh? I love you. Sometimes I am just like, we'll just be sitting here and he'll get fussy. And I'll be like, no, Wilder, mama don't feel good. Like, talk like that. And he'll just look at me and go. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, you take care of mama. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, my God. Okay, so that was an episode. He's learned to like come to me and it is so sweet. Watch, I'll have to show you guys. Hang on. Let's see, can you show them? <coughs> come here, come here. Yes, it's so sweet. It's so sweet. Anyways guys, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the video now because I'm really just, I'm not feeling my best right now. I just had a little episode and I feel it coming on again, so I think I'm going to end the video, um, but on a lighter note, I am, I'm so happy, I'm so blessed that I am able to be pregnant and carry this little baby inside of me, and I don't care what comes along with pregnancy, I mean, I could be sick every single day of my pregnancy, but I, in the end, and even now, I'm still the happiest that I can be, I'm so lucky, I'm so blessed, and... Yeah, we're so happy, huh? I love you. Um, but anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you're battling with morning sickness, you are not alone. You are not alone. <laughs> and if any of you guys have any tips or tricks or favorite meals, favorite snacks, let me know. Comment in the comment section below. And if you did like this video, give it a thumbs up and comment, like, share, all that good stuff. Guys, don't forget to turn on your notification bell as well so you don't miss any of my videos. And we will see you in the next video. Huh. Bye. Bye. <laughs>